how to stop your Brompton seat post from slipping. A simple test for a slipping seat post is to try to twist the seat post when the quick release clamp is fully tightened. If it moves, it is loose. If you're still not sure, grab a marker pen and draw a line on your seat post just above the frame. Repeat this at the end of the ride. If there is a noticeable gap between the two, then your seat post is slipping. There are two main reasons why a seat post may slip. The seat post quick release clamp may not be able to tighten sufficiently, or the seat sleeve is worn. Your seat post is designed to work best when clean. While yours may look clean at first glance, your seat post can easily acquire dirt and dust from the environment, bits of plastic from the seat post sleeve, and even natural oils from your hands. In order to guarantee the same saddle position, we recommend marking the pentaclip with a marker pen. To remove the seat post, remove the saddle using a 5mm Allen key. Be careful not to loosen the pentaclip too much. Drop the seat post out from below as shown. Clean the seat post and seat tube with a degreaser or disc brake cleaner. Use a rag to remove the residue from both the seat sleeve and the seat post. Proceed with reassembly so you can ride your Brompton. Start by fitting the seat post into the seat tube, then Tighten the seat post quick release. By folding the rear frame under, it will be easier to fit the O-rings and the seat. Ensure the marks made earlier are in line so the pentaclip sits in the same position as before the job. Tighten firmly once aligned. If the problem persists, tighten the quick release clamp. The seat post quick release clamp being loose is likely to be the cause if the bike is newer. It can be easy to go too far with this step and potentially damage your frame, so be patient and tighten incrementally. Firstly, let's briefly explain how the quick release clamp should work. At first, there's increasing resistance and then it snaps into place, resting snugly against the frame. If your quick release clamp isn't tight enough, it will be very easy to open and close. In this case, gradually tighten the nylock nut on the drive side using a 10 mm spanner. Just a quarter of a turn at a time. Make sure the lever action is no more than quite firm and still closes against the frame. The thread should not protrude more than three millimeters 4mm for a nickel plated frame or you'll risk damaging the frame. If the nut is over tightened, it can start to distort the rear of the main frame. If you have an older bike, a slipping seat post is most likely caused by a worn seat post sleeve. This component is designed to wear to ensure the longevity of your mainframe. The other cause of a slipping seat post on older bikes 
can be a worn out seat post quick release mechanism. The seat sleeve needs to be replaced by a trained Brompton mechanic. So you should contact your local dealer if this is required. How often your seat sleeve is replaced will depend on multiple factors such as how often you fold your bike, how tall you are, how much time you spend in the saddle, how clean you keep your seat post and how heavy you are.